Yes, Dave Ramsey got it wrong not once, but twice. As a real estate mogul and financial advisor, I get the feeling Mr. Dave Ramsey has never sat down with one of our typical low income final expense clients. Interesting enough, he has an opinion on whole life insurance that completely goes against everything that I see on a daily basis when it comes to selling final expense life insurance. In this video, I will expose not only the fault in his opinion on whole life insurance, but we're going to expose how his opinion on credit cards can cost you, the final expense agent, thousands of dollars a year. Coming up next, so stick around. If this is the first time that we've met, my name is Douglas Massey and I'd like to thank you for checking out our channel, Final Expense Trainer. Let's make something clear. I totally respect and believe in most of what Dave Ramsey says. Before we get into the video, I want to give you this new agent zip file. This file has a bunch of stuff that you're definitely going to want to use for selling Final Expense Life Insurance. Stick around all the way to the end and I'm going to show you how to get a copy for yourself. Now back to Mr. Dave Ramsey. When he speaks, he speaks to me. He speaks to the middle class and also to the people that belong in the top percent earners in the country. So I get him. I totally understand exactly where he's coming from. The problem is that he doesn't really speak to our typical low income retirees that are living off of social security and that client that does not have a pension or any other income. Remember, our typical final expense clients are living off of anywhere from $800 to maybe $1,200 per month, and they don't have enough life insurance to pay for their final expenses when they die. So think about this. When Dave Ramsey says that you should buy term life and invest the rest, he is speaking to you and he's speaking to me. He's speaking to people that are responsible and earn enough money that we can actually put some of that money away every single month. Our typical final expense clients basically jump from job to job their entire lives. They were able to save a little money here and a little money there. When they would lose their job, they would usually have to dip into their savings just to pay their bills and survive. In most cases, they never made enough money to invest into mutual funds, meanwhile spending $70 or $80 a month on term life insurance. When they did buy term life insurance, it was usually the very first thing that they had to let go of when they lost their job because they had to buy food with that money. Now, let me give you the perspective of one of our clients, but hold on, before we do that, this is what I'm going to ask that you give this video a big old thumbs up or a like, because that lets us know that you're actually watching the video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you need to go ahead and do that now. One last thing, if you'd like to be notified every time we put out one of our true final expense sales videos, Go ahead and click on that little bell looking thing that's down there right next to the subscribe button. So back to what I was saying about giving you the perspective of one of our final expense clients. Here you are at 65 years old. You're on social security with no other income. You saved money off and on your whole life but currently have no substantial savings. Now you did manage to hold on to that 30 year term life insurance policy. but. It's about to lapse because the price is going up over 800% next year and there is no way in the world that you're going to be able to afford anything close to that. Maybe you were able to hold on to it because it only cost you $30 per month. So it was a great investment up until now. The problem is you're outliving it and when you do the math, you realize, holy cow, I paid over $10,000 into this term life insurance policy and I'm not going to get a penny back. Wow, it sure would be nice to get that $10,800 back right now, wouldn't it? Now you feel like you just wasted your money. What in the world was I thinking when I took out that term life policy? This is the perspective of the people we sell to, my typical client. Trust me. When Dave Ramsey was selling homes, was selling property, he rarely had people that were barely able to save a dime come into his office to buy a house. It did happen, but remember, he didn't have poor people come into his office to buy mutual funds either. 
My typical client, Mrs. Jones, missed the boat on all this fancy stuff. Thankfully, she just might have a nice little house or apartment, but there was never enough money to buy term and invest in the mutual funds. My client, Mrs. Jones, now has a big problem. She's 65 years old and needs just enough insurance to pay for her final expenses so that she can have that funeral that she knows her family can't afford. All she wants is to make sure that she doesn't end up screwing her family over by leaving them with her debt and expecting them to actually put her to rest properly. Think about it guys, no respectable human being wants to leave a financial burden to their family after they're dead. Let's talk about how Dave Ramsey's opinion can cost you, the final expense agent, thousands of dollars per year and no. I'm not talking about losing final expense sales because you listen to him and you don't sell final expense or whole life, you just sell term life insurance. I'm talking about the credit cards, guys. Dave Ramsey will tell you that he does not believe in credit cards at all and doesn't see any reason for them. It's not that I'm just some kind of whacked out fanatic, uh, although I am. <laughs> But there's real logic behind it, so that's why I don't believe in credit cards at all. I don't see any reason for them. I get this line of thinking because my father used to feel the exact same way, and that's what he taught me. He always said, never use credit cards, forget about it. But that did end up being a problem when it came time for me to buy a house, buy a car, or even rent a vehicle. You see, my father paid $9,700 cash pre-construction for our childhood home and he paid like $3,000 for a 1954 Cadillac. Allow me to share with you how I saved over $2,000 this year in airfare and car rental fees. And I got another $2,000 in cash back just from using the right credit cards and guess what? I was able to do that without paying one penny in interest. With our final expense life insurance sales business, we have a lot of costs. Each month, I put thousands of dollars on my credit cards. I use an American Airlines Aviator Advantage card for airline miles, and I use a Chase Inc. Business Preferred card for cash back and rewards. When I opened the Advantage card, I was given 50 points, just enough points for two airline tickets. When I opened that Chase Inc. card, I was given 100 points, which guess what? That's worth 100 bucks in cash. The trick is to go into a Chase bank and ask for the 100 points from the manager. That's the only way they're gonna give it to you. Otherwise, you're just gonna get 75 points. That's what I did, and they gave it to me, no questions asked. If you're responsible and make six figures, I would definitely suggest looking into churning credit cards. Now, I know this sounds bad, but it's actually a legitimate safe way to earn extra miles and even get more cash back and paid vacations. Oh yeah. So how can you make money with your credit cards? Well, I'll assume you're a life insurance agent or final expense agent and that you're spending hundreds of dollars per week on leads. Maybe even over a thousand dollars per week on leads if you're a top producer. As long as you're responsible, you simply put every single cost that you have for your business and pay everything possible with your credit card. You even want to connect your PayPal account to your credit cards too. As long as you pay everything off each month, you're guaranteed to earn valuable points that can be used to get, well, cash back or can be used for paid vacations. This is what I do and this is what most of our top producing final expense agents are doing. If you're a licensed life insurance agent and would like to learn how to make more money than 90% of the United States population, just shoot me an email at doug at ufesonline.com. If you need high quality final expense leads, final expense training, or would like to take advantage of the offer I made early, that new agent zip file with all the stuff in it, just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember. When you put the needs of your clients first, everything else usually falls right into place. Now go out there and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting!